Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a product review and this one is going to be with Kosas. This is their Wet Lip Oil Gloss and I'm really excited about this. This is actually, I think, one of my new favorite products. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. So this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty nice and clean and minimal. I like the Kosas brand because they are a clean brand and this is what the lip oil looks like. It is such cool packaging. I like the little indentations on the side. It kind of gives you a little bit to grip on and it just looks cute and simple and nice to put on your vanity or throw in your bag. This one is in the shade Dip. So I did a wear test today. I applied this on at 5 p.m. It lasted about two and a half, three hours with the actual glossiness on my lips, but it is five hours later now about, and my lips still feel super soft and hydrated when I like pat them together. Like obviously there's no product on it, but they feel super hydrated, which I absolutely love, especially during the winter months and when it's cooler out and drier. My lips just feel amazing. And honestly, I have not tried a product like this before that is so, so good. I actually think I got one from BoxyCharm. It's like a lip cream, I think from Rowan Beauty. That may have been a little bit similar, but it doesn't have an oil texture. It's not super oily. It's not very sticky on your lips. It's like the complete opposite. It's super hydrating and it just feels so creamy and smooth and moisturizing but it's not like super thick it's completely non-sticky the formula is amazing this is what it looks like the only complaint i have is i wish the applicator was a little bit bigger so that is the shade it's like a really pretty nude color and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on as you guys can see my lips do look a little bit dry but they don't feel dry at all and i feel like it almost like fills in my lip lines a little bit. I know. Let's see. Show you guys again. The applicator, the Dofa applicator is very flexible. It applies nicely. I guess this brush may be nice if you have smaller lips, but I do wish it was a little bit bigger. It just feels so creamy and smooth going on my lips. I'm like obsessed, you guys. So in the packaging here, it says it's a hybrid lip treatment and gloss that plumps, hydrates, and repairs with a slick of color. Now, it does say plumping. I feel like my lips feel plump in the sense that they're moisturized. It doesn't feel like a Too Faced lip plumper, the Grande Cosmetics plumper. It doesn't feel like any tingling. It doesn't feel like it's burning my lips, there's none of that. Like no burning, not that type of plumping. This is more of like a moisture plumping to it. I will tell you guys, I definitely have noticed that and I was absolutely blown away by how long this lasted. Like even when the product had like seeped in or evaporated or whatever, as it had worn off, my lips still felt hydrated for hours after, about two, two and a half hours after, um, and now I'm filming this video, so <laughs> I'm sure it would have lasted a few more hours because they felt really nice. They still feel great. They feel even better now that I got a little bit more on my lips. Today's video shout out word is lippy. If you comment lippy down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. And it does have like oils in here, like avocado oil, shea butter, sunflower extract, evening primrose oil, hyaluronic acid, rosemary, lots of good stuff in here. I am a fan of the ingredients. And guys, I will tell you, if you guys are looking for a lip product that is just just like, ugh. Something you can throw in your bag and wear every day. This is clean beauty, something that's like natural looking but gives you that nice tint. But also it's not like too makeup-y where like, I feel like this has a lot of skincare benefits in it. So it's got that nice balance between skincare and makeup. It's like I would so rather put this on than like a chapstick or something like that. And there are different colors as well available. I'm obsessed. Have any of you guys tried this product? Please let me know down below. I wanna know if you guys have tried it, what shades have you tried? Let me know. I'm gonna have to play around with a few other ones and I may purchase some more because I am a huge, huge fan of this. And I know a lot of lip oils have recently been blowing up. 
I feel like this is probably gonna be the next once people find out about it because the texture of it is so amazing. <laughs> okay, if I had to rate this product, honestly, I'm literally obsessed. I love the color. I love how it looks. I love how it feels on my lips. I love the texture. I love the hydration after this goes away. My lips definitely felt amazing. I will say after wearing this for so long and reapplying, I do still have some dry patches on my lips that I can still feel. Like when I rub them together, I do still feel some like dry skin where it's kind of like cracked, but it does still feel like plumping and all of that, meaning hydration plumping. So I would give this gloss a nine out of 10. I, I love it. Let me know your thoughts down below and thank you guys so much for watching. Today's video shout out goes out to Robert Coons. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.